guys welcome to camera PPC. this is going to be a very short flight today we're flying the PMTG 737 NGX in a flight simulator FSX from Stuttgart to Frankfurt at least that th that's where I think we are so let's take the map and take a quick look at that and that very looks like Stuttgart and it says EDS so we're in Stuttgart so we'll take a let's look on the top-down view we want to take nose facing to the right so turn nose right and start the pushback start it all right i'm going to play some music i found a nice website where i can play royalty free music meaning non copyrighted so i'll play some um, house or techno or whatever you want to call it in the background okay so where does it start Set to go up here, we've been cleared to push and start at your discretion. Music just, oh, too much. Alright, so we're gonna go to clear that out. Pass any way Okay, parking brake is off, clear to push. Um, gate is unimportant for right now. EDS. Now, um, we'll take the runway nearby. Which, let me look up, is 07. Breaks off, here we go. So let's put in 07. There's no, um, no air traffic control on this one. We're gonna fly to EDDF, where there's an air traffic control. Um, flight number 111. Um, in a reference, click twice on that. Um, reserves 1F5. Cost index, um, I'm gonna go at about 75. Cruising altitude. Let's at least take 11,000 feet, even though it's right on, the, right above the corner. And one limit. Um, what are we doing here? Takeoff flaps are five, and select all those, and we're good. Now let's go to the route and actually move on. I want to extend all the flaps that we need to have and go to the plan. So what does it say on the frequency disagree? That's okay. I'm um, going frequency right now. So here's the plan. So our departure arrival. We want an EDS to depart. <coughs> sorry about that. Um, let's see what works out here. Runway service, I don't know. Which is obvious. Take us to later, that's okay. Now, this looks really cool. This seems like about where we're going. I mean, we're going up here. So, this seems fine. Um, I'm gonna just take that one. Good. Activate, execute. Go to takeoff speeds. And arrival. We don't really know the arrival yet, so we'll keep that open. Minded, we'll just go to deep keep and from there, um, let's go to the Lux page. We actually have a direct to there, so um, I'm gonna put in EDDF just at the bottom. So we'll put this in there. There we go. Now we just have direct direct to push is complete. Set parking brake, please. All right, parking brake. Hold on. Um, All right, you, brakes sir. are set and uh, pressure's normal. Okay, sir. Tow bar is off. Pin is out. Watch the pin on the right. Okay, EDF is here. I don't want to. All right, guys. Thanks. Right. You're cleared to disconnect. We will uh, be watching so, for the pin and the release for guidance on the right side of the airplane, the and uh, we'll see you guys next time out. through. Roger that. Have a good flight. How about this one? I can't even see it out here. How's that? No, that's not working out well either. So let's take another departure route, runway 7. And take the next one, which that doesn't look too good either. 
scroll up on the last page. So I'm sure. No, nope, that doesn't look good. Departure zero seven green. How does that look? Oh, here, here we go. No, that's not what I wanted either. That actually looks okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take this one for right now. And we'll take a arrival, we'll just put in something on the ILS 7 center. Transition that and put in that. And I'll change that later. And there we go. We have pretty much finished the SMC. Let's just take the takeoff pizza and reactivate them right there. And um, that's how far we're done in the FMC. Um, Prague. We're going to be there at 4.04, which is about an hour. That's a good, good, solid time. Let's activate flight director and auto speed. And the autopilot put the speed on 200 knots. I'm going to start rolling towards the runway while I select this. Um, going to put this to 11,000 feet because that's our altitude. And... There we go. I like this look from up here, which completely right now I'm driving the wrong way, but let's zoom in just one so we can see these little areas here. And we'll make a nice taxi drive to the active runway 07, which let's check in the chat box real quick that that one's actually active, or that we don't have a tower at this place it's unlike when there's air traffic controller at a place where I don't think there's air traffic Stuttgart is not part of that so we're fine so I already turned in on all the important lights um, turned on I don't really care about lights as long as they're bright and that is the most important thing for me um, I just like to write my words and I haven't been flying simulator since a long while now I've been focused on Battlefield since this, um, since it came out now, and I'm ready to fly again. So before we enter the runway, let's look left and right, and we are clear. So we will enter the runway immediately. Um, change this back to this, and here we are entering the runway. As soon as we lined up can give full power here and we pull this bird in the air <laughs> and we're having frame stuck right there but at flight simulator getting frame stuck is no problem just stop real quick and it'll be fine this, except for landings landing suck okay so we're at 120 I'll select the speed so we won't get too fast. And right here, put in LNAV and RNAV, and we're on our way. There we go. It's beautiful. Awesome. I like it. Let's just take another song here. We can play a little quieter. Okay, that's, that's cool. Don't have any.
apply all that weight so here shorten it and crunch can actually no wait 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 wait, wait. what do you do don't execute don't execute let's stop don't execute first okay there you go um we'll press this with carrier s there you go having it go directly to there which there we go that's a solid route we're taking right there It'll take us a little word so we can replace this one with char. So now with char. So we'll fly direct to char. Which will then... Let me put this on plan real quick. And zoom in. Which will put me directly on 20... 25 left. There we go. Perfect. So we can go right here again. I can actually um, let's find out the ILS frequency for this airport. Um, I here yeah, there it is. Let's put that into our ILS with a one eleven point one five. So um, one eleven point one five it is. saw this change to premium now 248 is our course we'll put this on the course indicators 248 and we can actually go backwards here 248 there we go and uh, one more thing we have to do is we are going to go on annex and take the approach which we will fly at the speed and that will um, help us do everything now let's uh, let's take this awesome hot down ah uh, this looks awesome so right now we're flying correctly and let's put on another song i don't really know this is, this is
nice outside look with very detailed stuff. I mean, you can literally read emergency exit on the exit and um, just the way this airplane looks is incredible. These slides, all these little, little tiny things that really change up what this airplane is about. And you can see all the languages this is made in. It's just a very nice airplane. I think we can actually read that sign. Almost. But we now another nice thing is we can look into the cabin. You can see the cabin seats from here. Let's look into one of the cabins. Here you can see the cabin seat. Very nice, no monitors. Just a simple cabin seat and up here is first class and there's the pilot and we can actually see the pilot which yeah it does have people flowing like you can see the pilots actually um, moving knobs and looking around and acting like pilots are supposed to act so the PMDG 737NGX and this is the 800 version is probably one of my favorite air planes it's the favorite airplane in flight simulator at on rise i would suggest this plane to everyone who wants to come into a more complex world of flying um airplanes <laughs> yeah. no i don't like that song <laughs> let's take They're not really good, that's why they need to go three buttons. I'm partnered to YouTube and I really don't want to mess that partnership up. And I think this is just a nice thing to have. I'm one trip to you might even have to use this if you press F6 or something. You will come up to this point. Now, sometimes the sun is right in front of you, so if you go your way, you cannot see any of the patterns that you take down. If you do just turn on this slide, which is a Yeah, but um, I'm not doing this way for that really right now, I was doing better than But you can pretty much pick up people's things and I'm having fun playing it. So anyway, I will be... Something I will be more professional at this. which you can check out all the sites, it's completely in English, even though it's a German ser server, I have very bad ping on there. Um, but it's still a lot of fun playing, the people are awesome, you will have lots of fun flying more freely than on Batson or Evo or wherever you would fly if you would fly here. It's a game spy server, so there are problems, but the quality of the server and the staff is incredible, and um, we're literally seeing people um, work on the server on the biggest tempo 
from the not the biggest temple but the biggest effort we're trying to really improve that server and we're seeing a lot of improvement we're going to have a cloud which is going to be similar to um, what we have right now just not game spy based which is really increased the um, performance of the server it is going to have an automatic bot system which talks to you or that is a plan i don't know if it's going to have that the beta is out right now so all you guys can check that out under um i think is it fsxcloud.net and um, it's copyrighted name i think it is yeah but check that out and look at that um it will definitely it could definitely get popular i'm i'm very looking forward to seeing the popularity of this too it could maybe even get as popular as vatsim or evo because of the incredible amount because of the incredible bot the bot is just so precise and exact if we will actually implement that and we press the approach right there just to make sure if we implement that right i can actually see a future on this thing so drag required we have the drag out so nothing's gonna really happen let's um i want to put this on approach and i want these two to stay over there thing okay and let's put that back down we will turn to the left to the runway 25 left in a couple of seconds here the tower would um, probably tell us about now that we are cleared for final and we would repeat um, with November Tango 315 cleared for final on runway 25 left meaning we can turn on to final um, the FA controller would call us back before we um, reach I think 2000 feet and tell us that we are clear to land on that runway and we will check our and let's actually um, think about what we would check and our checklist for the airplane when we would land and this is pre-approach pre-final um, um, checklist which actually includes um, auto brakes set on two we have a really long runway but i still don't want to roll forever um, this will include a flap set which i'm gonna have to set to five right now and the drag required i can turn that off right now we're at 4000 feet which are we too high or oh, we're not too high i don't really think we're too high i think yeah wait we're too high no we're not no we're fine we're fine we're fine so i will actually take the drag required out if you press just once on it it'll enable them but they won't um go out meaning as soon as we touch down they hit we will be able hold on just a second please um, we will yeah hold on just a second so I um, was very sorry about that um, I was talking to my dad about some information we had to be going about today because we have lots to do tomorrow meaning lots and lots to do so we're completely on approach um, our approach plates look okay um, we're seeing our airplane moving at 180 knots i want to extend the flaps completely right 2, now we're 2500 i'll select the other um cmd and here we see a problem which happened to me a couple of times and i can't really tell what's wrong with it gear down you want to have both of these um autopilots enabled to completely um, completely auto land this plane but what happens to me is it just switches over it doesn't completely and I have speed brakes I have the uh, everything is set the way it is supposed to be set the frequencies are set even though this uh, monitor didn't switch over so I'm guessing yeah we'll see the autopilot will disable itself in just a couple of seconds if this doesn't work. Oh, uh, no, never mind. But I can't see the runway right now, so I'm just kind of trusting the autopilot. How's it looking? We're going to be landing about here. 
So we're pretty far away, um, 1,900 feet. Actually, the autopilot should be turning off right now. It is, I think, at 2,000 feet, so or 1,500. I don't really know. Which is the decision altitude where I make my decision if I should land or not. We're at 142. Um, that is our speed. Full flaps. Um, on break two, we have um, if, um, flares enabled. No flares. Flaps enabled. One no thousand. flaps are out. This is um, speed brakes enabled and flare if flaps are out. Autopilot doesn't do anything, but okay. So um, I really don't know where the runway is. One thousand seems a little low, and there's the runway. I can see it. Turn off the autopilot. Oh, it's right in front of us. I didn't see that one either. Okay, and I'll land per hand, which personally I think is a lot cooler than landing it with autopilot. So I'm happy the autopilot doesn't work. If any of you guys know what I have done wrong, which you guys probably know, just tell me and I will try to fix it next time. And yes, that was pretty much it. We'll have a landing. I'll stop and um, finish the podcast. I'm glad you guys watched. Um, this will be probably up. I mean, it's Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. I will have lots of time to edit and upload this video. And I hope that will be the time when I'll upload it Sunday. So we should have it Sunday evening. It should be uploaded. Um, 100. 100. I will disable the auto throttle and uh, decrease the speed. 50. And we'll flare 30, right here. Let's see 20, how good I can make this. 10. I've not flown in a while, and that was a decent touchdown for me not flying in a while. I'll get rid of this. Landed at Frankfurt Airport on runway 26, 25 left or 26 left. I, I can't remember. Okay, let's see if we can exit, and we can exit here. That was nice. Let's disable auto brakes, pull in flares, uh, flaps, and speed brake. Disable that one. And we are off the runway at. Let's see what taxiway this is. Can't see the taxiway. Alright, whatever. So you guys have a nice day. Um, I hope you guys like this podcast. If you like the FSX series, please thumbs up. And um, if you want to have more Battlefield 2 video, there's definitely something coming this week. Um, probably at the end, about Friday um, or the weekend. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to get this PMDG. 737 NGX it is a very nice plane and for a out add-on from PMDG is actually not that expensive so you guys have a nice day and see you next time